Simon, we always knew it was going to be a tough game and that was the case this afternoon. Yeah, definitely. Um, we knew what we expected when we come here. Um, they, they, they're directing, they're physically strong, but you know they try to play a little bit of football. The pitch up there is quite tight and narrow, so we knew they weren't going to have much time on the ball. So we, we had to make sure we moved the ball quickly um, and we competed well. And, and I think the boys did that for, for the full game. But you know, credit to Konarski. Um, they had some, some really good footballs in there. Um, they did try and play a little bit of football, which was nice to see. Um, so, no, it was a real good game and a real good advert for college football and Welsh football. And as far as the performance is concerned, it was a physical game at times, but tennis coped quite well with that. Yeah, we did. Um, you know, we've got some boys who have been playing men's football now for, for at least a season. You know, Louis Bradford, Bo Cornish, Aaron Lloyd, I thought they were excellent. They've been playing men's football and, and you can see how, how physically stronger they're getting and also mentally, you know, they know when to put their body on the line and they know when to play a little bit of football, which if they're going to make it in the game, they're going to have to. Um, but I thought the first year stepped up real well. Um, and like I said, it was, it was such a tight game, um, but I, I was really, really proud of the boys. And you must have been very happy, of course, going 1-0 up, but then the emotion swung the opposite way right at the very end when Connors Key scored the equaliser. Yeah, we knew they were going to get a chance. Uh, it's just a ball in the box. Um, seems to take an age to get in there and, and the lad at the back post just put it in. Um, but, you know, we knew they were going to get one good chance and it was just about us trying to trying to stop it. And unfortunately, you know, I think the 87th, 88th minute that they scored, which is a real sucker punch. But, you know, we've gone down the other end. You know, the lads threw on goal. And whether he, I'm not sure if the centre-backs won the ball or not, but, you know, it, it's such a good job opportunity to try and try and get the winner. Um, so great reaction. But, yeah, like I said, it's it's always difficult when, when you concede a late equaliser. But... You know that's football, and the lads will will learn more from that than maybe winning five or six nil, which which happens. So no, like I said, can't be more proud of the boys' performance over the ninety minutes. And then straight to penalties, and of course that's often described as a lottery. On this occasion, it didn't go our way. It did. Uh, you know, Regan there, uh, he's, he's missed, but he's he's been unbelievable this season. He's been such a leader, so you know, no problem with that. You know, it takes a lot of bottle to step up and 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 take one in the first place in in a big game. So, so credit to him and, and the other four, you know, great penalties and, and Robbie save one there and the, the linesman said he's off his line, which you never know, but you know, I think he was it was it was it was always gonna be a lottery and, and, and like I said, just didn't go our way this time. But you know, the lads will learn a lot from it. So, you know, that's that's the main thing. Simon, as always, thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Trevor. Cheers.